everybody, it's Michelle Visage, and welcome to a brand new season of What You Packing, season 10. We've made it to season 10 because of you guys. Thank you so much. And starting off today, it's Vanessa Vanji Mateo. All the way from Tampa, Florida. Yes, mama, the sunshine stay. So your last name is Mateo. Yes. Are you from the Alexis Mateo family of Tampa Mateos? Yes, I am part of the Mateo empire. And you guys were friends before and she found you and, and plucked you to become a Mateo? Yeah, because she don't just pick up any regular girl from the street. Uh -huh. I was dancing for her, um, backup dancing like at pageants and stuff. And then she saw potential and then one day I fell into a wig and then I did a talent show and ever since then I've been doing drag. And you're very boy out of drag. I mean with makeup, a boy with makeup. Right, of course. Um, and your transition is pretty Amazing. It's one of my favorite things about it. It's um, I like to look like a cute boy. With you are a little cute bit of, boy. Thank you. Welcome, Michelle. You're welcome. Cause growing up, I was trying to look so butch. Like I was like, bitch, you need to look like a boy, dance like a boy, act like you know, trying to be a top looking. Right. And then um, I know, I know the feeling. Right. Hello. So then I was like, no, I don't want to do drag. Da, da, da. They said, girl, you more feminine than half the bitches out here performing for the pageant. <laughs> <laughs> then I did the talent show, got the little coin thotters. Uh -huh. And so then after that, I was like, it just came natural and I got bit by the bug. I want to ask you about your name. Vanessa is a Vanessa. Explain Vanjie. Because when you left, uh -huh. you said Miss Vanjie. Miss Explain. Angie. Okay, because I wanted to be called Banji, ghetto. You know Banji. I know all about Banji. Right, with the hoop earrings and things. And plus, Alexis can't even pronounce Banji. She says Banji because of her accent. And I said, okay, I kind of like that. So I took that one, so I put the VV, Vanessa Vanji, Mateo, because I'm part of the Mateo Empire. That's hilarious. So, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry we didn't get to see more of you, but this is the way the cards go. And I mean, obviously it wasn't great, but what was the experience like for you? Well, it was sad because, you know, I didn't want to leave so early, but being, being the first queen out and then making such an impact with the girls because like they all like like oh we wanted you to stay and we love you and you know like the way we connected and everything so did like, you make some real friends there mm -hmm. who did you find your connection with right away well i knew asia from the pageant scene so i already kind of like clicked with her automatically asia o'hara yes okay. asia o'hara blair i love blair me and her became good judies really i like all of them a lot good i'm glad yeah. so the challenge you went home on was 99 cent bush. It's not easy. It's not, not easy. Girl, but I was living for my gig. Like, y'all could not tell me I was not giving the little floral girl. You living for it is part of the yeah, battle. Yeah, I was living for, for myself. Sure. So that's why I was like, some of those 99 cents look like they didn't know nobody bought it. I was like, you know, they was I was top chef. Like what? they said, okay, we're taking this one with us. We hitting it. I mean, I was living for it. Yeah. I liked it at the end. Just tell me some of the stuff you brought. I'm going to go this way behind you. Yes. This beautiful blue swimsuit. The blue swimsuit, because, you know, every good hoe, you need to have a swimsuit. And if I'm going to wear a swimsuit, I need to reveal. I need one of those moments like that. So, you know, that's how you give it to them, like yeah. that. A little peekaboo moment. Victoria's Secret, don't tell nobody. Tell me about this gorgeous gown. What was she for? That was one of the options for final runway look. She was giving a little vintage look. I was kind of feeling Haunted Mansion fish. Like yes, 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 you know, yes, yes. They were like that. I had a lace necklace with the beaderies and yeah. things, and I was going to wear long hair down to my ass. Beatery. And just be like. And this cute little red cha-cha number behind me. That's my pretty woman gig. I felt like I was Rodell Drive with the hooker boot. And mm -hmm. you just look at the corner and wait for the guy to pull up. Right. Look. She is a cute little hooker dress. Thank you. And that's very, you know, it's very Alyssa Edwards, I feel. Yeah, Thank anything you. could be Alyssa Edwards. Yeah, that's The girl. more you put on, the more yes! Alyssa it gets. That's very that. It's very that. And before we say goodbye, do you feel that your exit was justified? Like y'all said, mm -hmm. everyone was really fierce. I didn't think I was going to take the... Like, oh, this bitch turned a 99 cent. Come right. on, that's the queen of the 99 cent. That's right. not the title I won. I didn't think I was the worst. Okay, who did you think was the worst? Like, I knew one of the girls' outfits ripped before she got on the runway, and it was obvious her ass was hanging out. But I didn't know, I guess the judges didn't clock it. Or maybe we thought it was supposed to be that or way? Or maybe it could have been. We are VH1, so they're going to get the who HP. Who was it? Say it! It was um Miss Dusty. I oh, love her. Love's got listen. nothing to do with it. I'm just asking. Yeah, it's yeah. keep it real, keep it thriller. That's it. Because I saw her struggling coming out with her look and she was, you know, like asking a lot of the girls questions. So I was like, well, she probably struggling. She probably might be in the bottom. Yeah. But I was the only one in baby doll pink with the pastel colors giving you spring collection. Everybody else was giving the same hocus pocus. And then on top of that, what made me also feel confident because all the girls was featuring it. They said, yes, I, I live for this. You know, I'm cool with all the girls. They they were like, that was kind of a 
you know, a shock. It is what it is. You're now part of the Drag Race family. Everybody's going to know your name is Vanjie. They're going to know who you are. And I tell you what, now getting to sit here and talk to you, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get to see you more on the main stage because you're funny. Well, I love you, Michelle. And you're fun. I love you, too. And I'm so glad that you came to talk to me today. And thank you for sharing your beautiful clothes and your funny, funny, fun personality. Yeah, I wanted to show more of, like, I was excited for the challenges, the shenanigans, like, because mm. I was going to be giving you all kind Girl, of Girl, there's all stars in the futures. Yeah, y'all need to vote for a bitch. Like, come on now, don't be reading me the filth. Just put a bitch on the show, let me do something. I got kicked out the first day, baby. <laughs> like, what? I love Thanks you Thanks for watching another Watch Your Pack, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, beauties. It's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot drag race tea? then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.